Hello and welcome back to Rock Bottom. Welcome back to Electric. Welcome back to Electric Boogaloo. Wow, we haven't. Wow. That's, Power slide. We haven't once said Electric Boogaloo on this. Uh, yeah. I figured that would be like episode two, Electric Boogaloo. I I totally missed out on that, and in, in favor of a goddamn like. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I don't know, but I, I, I feel like you're going to capitalize on it on this episode this, a lot. This, this very episode is being called Electric Boogaloo now. Thank you. You're welcome, I guess. Yeah. I don't even know what episode this is. Eh. Yeah. Uh. You guys are gonna know. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> just, just fuck you. That's what it showed me I could do in, in, in the tutorial. Whoa. I was totally aiming for this pipe. Yeah. I, have to, I have to hit the actual console. That makes no sense. Oh, well. Whatever. Here we go. I like this whole powering up the city. Yeah. It, because... it seems like a, a, like a logical uh, progress point. It makes sense that you're as you're powering yourself up, you're powering the city up, and just you, you get access to... It also, you get access to more parts of the city, but it's not. I mean, you can you can you can access those parts of the city right away anyway, but uh, it's not going to be a good time for you. Yeah, I like that. So it's not actually gated content, but it's like pseudo gated content. It makes sense within the within the rules of the world. That yeah, you, that and 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 you have incentive to actually go out of your way to unlock the power in the areas. Definitely. Oh no, come on. There we go. Okay, am I just gonna. Okay. The Reapers have some people locked up in it. Of course, we have to go on the goddamn train line. Yeah, now that we unlock the, the, the slide, yeah. The living third rail, stay in contact with the lead car, and it should move. That does make sense. Ah! Ah! <laughs> that is cruel and unusual. Oh, it really is. Here we go. I love that, that they're actually just panicking. Yeah. Do I have to? Oh, yeah, you course, have to remove the car. Is that a goddamn Chevy Impala? Is that a goddamn, uh... Yeah, that looks like a Chevy Impala. Bye. Goodbye, Sam and Dean. Just stay calm in there. Just stay calm in there. I'm just... The human powering a train. Don't mind me. Oh, thank you. Oh, so much. So these missions are always kind of... The train stop. Difficult. Mounted that under the tracks. I'll go look for it. Are you kidding me? Got it. Yeah, so I, I kind of remember getting on and off the rails. Uh, specifically onto the rails when you jumped off. Kind of sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here we go again. Here we go again on my own. Down the only road I've ever known. Oh, White Snake. I just watched. Uh, I just watched some Naruto show with uh, with Sarah today, and we, we we were at the point where where Sasuke beats Orochimaru and uh, and sort of absorbs him into his own body. Where Orochimaru tries to take Sasuke's body, but Sasuke reverses it, and they have that whole whole flashback with where. Kid Orochimaru finds the skin of a white snake, and uh, and and Hiroshin calls it a, a rare sign of good luck and shit. But like all the times I say white snake in that episode, all I can think about is it's my cherry pie, <laughs> <laughs> and so on. And if you don't know white snake, it's like a really crazy, uh, like a really crazy. Uh, 80s glam metal. Oh yeah, band yeah, totally. 
with uh, like poodle hairstyles and, uh, and and snake skin. Oh yes, and, and very tight pants and everything. So uh, that all was, too tight pants. That was that was pretty funny. Just thinking about that, it's the power of the white snake. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> Just like Orochimaru talking about the the bodily fluids of the white snake is seeping into the air, paralyzing you. <laughs> Here I go again on my own. <laughs> Down the only road I've ever known. <laughs> like a drifter, I was born to walk alone. <laughs> oh God! Well, that's pretty funny, especially because I'm just, I'm just picturing like one of those shitty uh, uh, AMVs with, with like Sasuke. With oh just, yeah. With just someone who doesn't understand the irony in White Snake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely see the fun in that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean. I may just go and make that now, to be honest. I mean, I, I, I feel like you kind of have to. I feel like I kind of have to. But I, I feel like you have a moral obligation to yes, do Yes, but I also now. feel like I don't have either time or just... I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to sift through so much, like, Sasuke footage. Fucking Sasuke footage. <laughs> of, of all things. I'm not Sasuke gonna, footage. I'm not going to do Sasuke footage. That sounds so... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Dude, uncool! Okay, even even conduits get scared, I guess. Holy sh! And another, another one. one. That's not cool, dude. Rain. Power of the white snake is in me. <laughs> Here I go again on your own. Here I go again on my own. Down the only road I've ever known. Like a drifter. I was born to walk alone. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, she's my cherry pie. Go on. I, I don't know the whole of that song. I just, I, I fucking white snake, man. Just, nah. Uh. <laughs> I love, like, that ridiculous, ridiculous 80s glam metal and, and everybody parodying it nowadays. Yeah. Stuff like Steel Panther and. Oh, yeah, totally. To a degree, Ninja Sex Party. I really like that. I um, I appreciate the music from time to time, but it's it's not something I put on myself. What? Uh, like old eighties glam? No, no, specifically glam is sort of like you have to be kind of in the mood for it. Yeah. Like stuff like 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 um, Van Halen and um, and Ozzy Osbourne and stuff like that. I can I can listen to just casually. Yeah. But like, <laughs> I have to be fucking. Fucking sticks or uh, goddamn yeah, white snake sticks. The uh, renegade. I let everyone know that you're you don't know that one. Train, uh, oh mama, I'm in fear for my life from the long time of the long. Like that. It's I, re it's, I don't it's, it's, really, it, it. it's really like just self appreciating. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's it's kind of awful in that regard. Take yourself way too seriously. Yeah. The chick is up, the news is out. They finally found me. A renegade who had it made. Something like that. Right. But, um, yeah. No, oh, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I, I live. No, I don't live. Okay. I thought I lived. I was about. I at, at, at least you respawn right here. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing though. Here we go. Again. Here I go again <laughs> on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, idiot. <laughs> that was. I mean. That, that was good. That was, I like it. Cole, Cole is Cole is feeling the power of the white snake. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at this point you might have to call this episode White Snake instead of Electric Boogaloo. Power of the White Snake 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> God damn it. Whoa! Oh, great. Just, oh, just a little sap. Just a little, ooh, mm. Mm, 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 ooh, mm. Mm. Give me more. I need more. Woo! There we go. Goodbye. Jesus. I'm a champion. Good and... 
Oh, oh in the head. In the goddamn head. I'm a hero of the people. I'm a river to my people. Is there a goddamn conduit here? I think there is. There's a goddamn Naruto somewhere. Um. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, alright. Alright. You. You okay, Lil? <laughs> shake it like a saw. Shake it, shake it like a saw. A little, little Reaper guy. Wait, wait a sec. Go, ahead, go back to him. He has an extra AK on his back. <laughs> Just, I mean, in case you're. In case your first AK jams, AKs don't jam. That is like my least favorite thing when when I see in in movies, right? Because I mean, stuff stuff with guns that you that you have to. If you know a little thing about guns, you and, and you see, you see movies. It's like the endless magazines. That's a thing. Oh, yes. That's a thing that you have to tolerate uh, for movies and the um, like inaccuracy uh, of. Of people with uh, with guns that are super accurate, that's also a thing that you have to see. Hip firing is also a thing you have to tolerate. But fucking, when god when guns jam, right? It's always a goddamn AK when I see it in movies. That's the worst part. And a AKs, AKs don't, AKs don't jam. jam. It's the most reliable gun in the world. They don't jam. You can you can freaking bury it in mud and ride it uh, ride over it with a goddamn tank. It can, will fire. Fine. It, you can shoot it with another AK. <laughs> Look how they neatly placed all their gun placements on the other track. How nice of them. Yeah. How, how thoughtful. Even though they blocked the tracks with cars of matter. That's I think his arm. That's really weird. Yeah. No, blah, blah, blah. Blah. Power of the white snake. <laughs> He's got wiggly arms like a Rochimaru. <laughs> Fucking hell, man! This episode just took a turn. No, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Uh, all you... the gunfire! All the gunfire! Oh, just going through the cars now. You're almost to the station. Oh, that's nice. Almost at the station. <laughs> <laughs> Have we watched IT Crowd? Uh, I mean, I think you've snow shown me uh, snippets. Snippets, yeah. The well, there's like. <laughs> Just their, their boss, who is like the second boss, who is uh, who's fucking. He's he's forced to wear electric sex pants because he uh, mm. he's facing sexual harassment charges. Yes. So he has he has underpants that shock him when he uh, when he has impure thoughts. Yeah. And like. So. Uh, no, no, that's that's actually a, a whole other. Uh, he gets that at one point, but then there's then there's another time where where they. Um, where the IT people find a way to to like turn up the uh, the, the vibration on a um, on, on a cell phone so that it goes to completely ludicrous levels so much so that one of the guys has it in in like his, uh, his whoa 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 has it in like his, his pocket in like his breast pocket and thinks right. he and thinks he has a heart attack when it uh, when it goes off that's how <laughs> that's how much that's how powerful it vibrates. Well, like, That's powerful. Yeah. So so they put it um, as a practical joke. They they said their um, like their their boss has problems with his cell phone too, and then they set up the uh, the vibration as a joke, right? And then it's it's he puts it in his pants, and he's like, oh, oh, when it goes off like at the at the like <laughs> super high setting, <laughs> <laughs> it goes off. Like, oh, 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 and then he he starts making funny faces, and then. And, and then he he, he takes a, a funny position that's uh, that's um, funnily enough uh, the same position that he has a picture of himself in in his office. So he's standing in front of a picture of himself uh, about to uh, blast a hot one in his pants uh, while looking like he's about to blast a hot one in his pants. <laughs> and then and then when the cre then the screen turns black and the credits roll and then you just hear him almost at the station. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just. That guy is hilarious. Like he has so many fucked up. Like he, he tries to, he tries to seduce like the, the the woman of the of the IT people. Yeah. Uh, so he goes to like a um, he goes to a wise man in the desert to buy a, a magical love potion. That they later find out is just rohypno. <laughs> <laughs> and he tries to put it in in her tea, right? Yeah. And um, and and then um, and then they. 
they find out there's some there's something funky about the tea, so they so they switch the cups. So he drinks the magic love potion himself, which is Roy Hypnol, which is um, which then makes him super horny instead of just making him tired. And they say that in like a recap that uh, the Douglas accidentally drinks the Roy Hypnol himself uh, and, and becomes super aroused from it, even though it would just make him tired in reality. <laughs> so so it's super self aware that show, and it's just it's brilliant. Uh. Fucking. Douglas. He's introduced at his father's funeral and, and like the return of the golden child that episode is called and he's, <laughs> he's even more of a freak than his father was. <laughs> which is amazing. And he's introduced at his, at his father's funeral where he just he, he, he walks into the he walks into the um, into the church, slams open the, the doors and, and just his hat, his fist balled at the ceiling and just yells oh, oh! <laughs> Runs up the aisle and then he loses control of his own momentum and he knocks the, the coffin over. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, and then he just he he starts like wrestling with the priest who's trying to get him up and try and he's release me priest. So he, that's an amazing entrance. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Rock Bottom. Bye. See you next time for more shenanigans. Wow.